Hi, Hugo, Ellie, and Ollie. I'm going to read you an Easter book. It's called The Teddy Bear's Easter Picnic. And then I'm going to re sing to you the Easter, the um, Teddy Bear's Picnic song after, after I've done the book. Okay, the, Easter, the Teddy Bear's Easter Picnic. Easter is almost every teddy bear's favorite holiday, but it wasn't for Chester, Katie, Harriet, and Buster. For them, every Easter was the same. They would eat everything in their Easter baskets, then spend the rest of the day in bed with big tummy aches. If we're going to pig out, said Katie, let's at least spend the day outside. Let's have a picnic. Oh boy, an Easter picnic, shouted Buster and jumped off the sofa. I want a jelly bean sandwich. You don't need any more jelly beans. You're already full of beans, Harriet said. Besides, we're going to take good food on this picnic. No candy or junk food. On Easter morning, the teddy bears got up very early and went to church. When they got home, Harriet filled their baskets with peanut butter sandwiches, carrots, apples, hard-boiled eggs, and a large tablecloth. Then the teddy bears set out. Katie carried a kite and a jar of bubbles to blow. Buster kicked a soccer ball ahead of him as they walked down the road. It was a beautiful day and Buster was smiling to himself, mainly because no one knew he had filled his pocket with jelly beans. But what Buster didn't know was that the jelly beans were falling through the hole in his pocket, leaving a trail on the road behind him. <laughs> He's in for a surprise. When they reached a grassy meadow dotted with flowers, Chester put down the baskets. This looks like a good spot, he said. But someone's already here, whispered Katie, and pointed to where two pairs of long furry ears were sticking up out of the grasses. They're Easter bunnies, shouted Buster. The two rabbits came out of the grass, noses twitching. Hello, I'm Ginger, said the biggest bunny, and this is my cousin Gerald, but we call him Jellybean. Jellybean looked as funny as his nickname. He was small and round and, he, and looked as if he'd like to get into a little mischief now and then. We were going to have a picnic here, Harriet told the bunnies. We're having a picnic too. Why don't you join us? asked Ginger. Why, thank you, said Harriet and spread the tablecloth on the grass. Chester put the teddy bear's basket next to the bunny's basket. Shall we eat first or play first? Harriet asked everyone, but Katie and Chester were already gone. They ran across the meadow trying to fly Katie's kite. Ginger, Buster, Harriet, and Jellybean ran, into the, ran in the opposite direction, kicking the soccer ball. But Jellybean wasn't so little. He couldn't, or sorry, but Jellybean was so little, he couldn't keep up and soon grew tired. So Jellybean and Buster sat down and began to blow bubbles. The bubbles floated across the meadow on a gentle breeze. As they floated higher and higher, the sunlight made tiny rainbows inside them. After he and Buster had blown about a million bubbles, Jellybean got bored. He peeked inside his picnic basket, then he peeked inside the teddy bear's picnic basket. Buster was too busy with the bubbles to notice what Jellybean was doing. Jellybean hopped back and forth across the meadow down by the river near the woods and into the weeds, carrying something between his paws. When the others returned and started to unpack the picnic baskets, Jellybean was sitting there with a big smile on his face. Would you like to have some carrots? Buster asked him and he gave Jellybean all his carrots, which made them both very happy. Where are the hard-boiled eggs? Harriet cried. I know I packed two dozen eggs. We can't have a picnic lunch without hard-boiled eggs. I packed a dozen eggs and they're gone too, said Ginger. Jelly Bean, you didn't eat them, did you? No, I hid them, said Jelly Bean with his big smile. Now we can have an Easter egg hunt. After all, it is Easter. Oh boy, an Easter egg hunt, shouted Buster. Let's hurry and eat our lunches so we can start. They quickly ate all the food they'd brought, then set aside the empty baskets. We'll hunt in pairs, said Buster. Ginger goes with Katie, Harriet with Chester, and Jellybean with me. Whoever finds the most eggs is the winner. But that's not fair, said Katie. Jellybean knows where all the eggs are, and he'll be helping you. I won't tell him where I hid the eggs, promised Jellybean. Each pair took a basket and walked around the meadow, searching for the eggs. I found one! cried Katie, looking behind a big rock. I found one, 
said Ginger as she peeked into a hollow log. Here's one, shouted Chester and Harriet and bumped heads when they bent over to pick it up. But Buster hadn't found any yet. Tell me where you hid just one, he begged Jellybean. No, I promised, said Jellybean. Besides, it's more fun to find them by yourself. Phooey, I'll never find any, said Buster, and he sat down on the hollow log. He reached into his pocket for a jelly bean, but found only a hole and no jelly beans. Double phooey, said Buster. As he looked at a little tree growing nearby, Buster noticed something funny about the tree. Where the tree trunk split into smaller branches, something purple was growing. It looked like an egg. Buster knew that eggs didn't grow on trees. He ran over to the tree and picked up the egg. Then Buster saw one under a bush. This is fun, he said out loud as he filled his basket with eggs. When it was time to count the eggs, Jelly Bean checked everyone's basket. Katie and Ginger found 12. Buster has 12 and Harriet and Chester have 11, he said. But that doesn't add up to three dozen, said Harriet. We're missing one. Where could it be? We've looked everywhere. Everyone rushed off to look for the last egg but not Buster. He had been watching a strange brown bird that kept flying above some tall weeds. Buster followed the bird into the weeds. The bird began to chirp and cheep, and Buster looked down, and he saw a nest with several brown eggs. And right in the center of the nest was a bright red Easter egg. I won! I won! yelled Buster, holding up the egg for everyone to see. That was smart of him to follow that bird, wasn't it? But where did you find it? asked Harriet. Buster laughed. In the best place for an egg, a bird's nest. As the teddy bears and bunnies packed up their baskets, they agreed that this had been the best picnic ever and that Jelly Bean was the smartest bunny when it came to hiding Easter eggs. They all promised to meet again for a picnic next Easter. And the teddy bears had no trouble finding the right road back. They just followed the trail of Buster's Jelly Beans all the way home. The end. I love you. Have a very happy Easter. Mwah.